Welcome to this video demonstration on painting a hummingbird in the bee balm flowers using pastels. This is a small 6x6 six six painting on 600 grit sanded paper. I will be primarily using my pastel pencils for this small painting. I'm using a dark maroon color as my base layer for the flowers. I'm using a dark uh, blue for the dark shading and contours inside the flower. Next, I'm going to use some isopropyl alcohol to blend the colors into my paper. This will create a solid base, so as I add other colors to the background and blend the pastels, it won't smear or remove any of the details I've already established in the flowers. So I'm going to do the same process for the second bee balm flower using my dark blue to add some dark shadows uh, and contours to the leaves and flower. These bee balm flowers have already lost most of its petals, but I really like the texture in the bulb of the flowers. So now I will use my alcohol again to blend these colors into the pastel paper. You can already see that I've created some deep shadows and contours to the flower's base. I'm going to add a background flower, but I want to keep it light and soft in the background. I'll add some of the pink to the flowers and wash it down again with the alcohol. I'm going to add some of this fuchsia pink to my bee balm petals. I'll use some of this pink on the second flower and then blend the color with my alcohol. The next step is to choose a range of colors that I would like to blend for the background of the painting. So I have chosen light green, maroon, some orange, some lime yellow, dark turquoise, a green, and a royal blue for the colors for the background. I am starting with the lightest colors first for the background. I will gradually overlay these colors with my mid-tones and then I will use the darkest values as the final color to blend with. I am using a small tip on my applicator to blend the background and I can get into the small areas very easily with the shape of the foam tip I selected. You can purchase these applicators on Amazon or Dick Blick and they come with multiple shapes for the tips so you can use them for various uh, shapes, small and large. I will be sure to leave a link in the description area uh, of where to purchase these materials. As I continue to add more colors to the paper, it's becoming easier to blend on the surface. I do want to be careful around the hummingbird not to blend over the feathers. Now I'm pretty pleased with the colors in the background, so I want to begin adding some of the details to our flowers. I'm using a light gray to add some highlights and reflections to our petals. 
I will start with some dark blue and dark purple to add some shading to the leaves and petals. Then I will use a light pink to add highlights uh, and reflections to some of the small petals on the second flower. The form and the shape of the petals are almost done. I have used a little bit of gray pastel to create some texture in the bulb of the flowers and I used very little green but I did add some darker green to the large leaf on the first flower to bring in some of the green color. So now I want to zoom in a little bit and focus on developing the hummingbird. I have drawn in the hummingbird's beak and used some alcohol to solidify the color into the paper. I've used a light cream color for the body area of the hummingbird to create a base to add colors over. Pastels blend and smooth much easier if you've already applied a base color. Right now I'm just blocking in some of the colors that I see in the hummingbird's photograph and once I have applied sufficient color to its body, I can begin blending these base colors. I'm using some dark brown to shade around his beak and eye area. I'm going to use a very light lime green around the top of his head and the back side of his body. I'm going to use a very small paper blending stump to begin blending these areas around the bird's body. Some of the fruchsia pink from the flowers is reflecting beneath the bird's body. I'll add some more of the pinks and purples to add some richer colors for this reflected color. I will use some dark purple to add some shading and contours to the underside of the bird's body. I'm also blending a dark shadow beneath the flapping wing of the bird. So now I'm going to draw in the bird's eye using a black pastel pencil to define the eye shape. Then I'm coming back with a blue uh, pastel to add the highlight uh, to the bird's eye. I'm continuing to add some dark shadows with my dark blue and browns to create a realistic shadow and feathers beneath the bird's face. I am switching to a violet color to create some light shading and feather textures around the bird's face. I'm trying to add as much detail as I can around the hummingbird's face. It's very difficult working in such a small area so it's important to maintain a sharp point on your pastel pencils. Now that his head is mostly done, I'm going to continue adding more color to the body of the bird on his underside. I'm going to add a little more purple to his underside and define some of the shading created from his wings. I'm 
going to add a little bit of amber orange to the side of his body and then I'm going to switch to a little bit of violet along his neckline. I've switched to a light gray to begin adding some of the very soft downy feathers uh, on his underside. I will use my white pastel to begin adding some highlights and sparkles to the feathers on the surface. I'm going to outline the back of the hummingbird and begin mapping out the shapes of the wings and defining some of the individual feathers found in the flapping wings of the hummingbird. I will use my gray pastel pencil to begin shaping these individual feathers in his wing. I don't want to over define the feathers in his wings because they are moving so quickly that they do create a little bit of a blur as he flaps his wings. I'm highlighting each of these small uh, feathers in his wings with light gray and some white highlights. I'm going to move on to his back feathers. He has a lot of iridescent shimmering feathers along his back side that I want to be sure to develop. I'll add some light aqua to his back feathers and also use some a little bit of white and light purple and then blend these colors together. I want to add some darker shading along these feathers and a little bit beneath the wings. Now that I have a good base of color, I'm going to use a very light turquoise and try to create some of the sparkle of color reflecting on his back. I'm going to finish some of the details in his flapping wings. I want to emphasize some of the cast shadows between these fine feathers a little bit more. And then I would like to move up to the, the other wing flapping on top with a little bit more light green and very light gray to create an illusion of a flapping wing. I will use my light gray to create the blurry effect of the wing flapping on the top side. The tail feathers are very dark, so I'm using some black to um, shape those tail feathers. And then I'll add just a little bit more shading and blend before I move on to drawing the bird's feet. I am using light purple to draw the shape of the bird's feet before I begin shaping them with my black pastel. Now that the pastel painting is nearly done, 
I'm using my white pastel stick to add some of the soft white downy feathers and highlights found in the uh, body of the bird. So now I'll add just some final little details and this painting is complete. I hope you have enjoyed this video on painting a hummingbird in the flowers and I look forward to future lessons with you in the near future. If you like this video, please press like and leave a comment below. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to receive notifications of all my new videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.